Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I think it's time to start with the St. Valentine's tutorials. In today's video I'm showing the famous brick stitch and I'm using here a pattern to make this work. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry, I will show you really easy step by step and I providing a scheme here so you will be able to make them. Only The only thing you need to find is the materials and here you need to use delicate beads. Okay, and uh, for those who want to make their own pattern, I have a special tutorial on how to make your own pattern and I'll link to it here. And I have other brick stitch tutorials. I'll also link to some of them. And now, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when I release new videos. In this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will never miss a thing. And you could support me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. In the description you will find a link to my store and also a PayPal link for donations if you want to support my work. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are Delica beads in three colors. They are size 110 and brand Mayuki and here I use ear wires, lever bags, you could use any type you want and here I will use a pattern that I made earlier and I will put it here at the right corner to see it the whole time and uh, you could also pause this video and use this one uh, to continue beading when I show you how I'm making this easy brick stitch and here I use fire line that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and uh, here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. This is the final product that we're aiming at. Okay and now guys what I'm going to do is take about three and a half feet of thread on my needle which is about one meter and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I'm back and I'm going to show you the famous brick stitch. If you're not familiar with it don't worry I'm showing it really easy and I'm sure you will be able to understand it. First in my pattern I have three red beads okay and I'm going to start with them okay. I'm taking first two red beads and I will slide them down okay stick my needle here and now I will make a knot and in order to be sure it's secure I will go two times around my work okay then I will go back through the first red one like this and I will take just one more red like this and I'll go through the other one okay now guys this is what I have here and uh, what you could do if you want is go one more time around your work uh, to make your beads stay, stay nice and tight and don't move around. So what I do is that I basically go one more time through all of those three beads. Okay, like this. Now guys, it's time to start this brick stitch, okay? In my next row, I need to add red, black and red. And I will start first with the red and the black one, okay? I'm taking a red one and I'm taking a black one, okay? This is what I have. And what I do is that I go through this thread bridge. It's really thick because my knot is there, but my next 
won't be this big, okay? Now, what I do after I added these beads is to go back through this black one. And go one more time through those beads. Okay. Now, guys, I have this. Okay. What I have next in my scheme is one more red bead. You see this one here. And I'm going to take this red bead. And I'm going to add it going under the same thread bridge here. Okay. And what I do is that I pull. Then I go back here through this red one. Okay. Now you see what I have. I have the beginning of my heart. Okay. Turning my work around like this. Then see the next row. Here I need a red, a black, a black and a red. And I will start with a red and a black. A red and a black and then a black and a red. But first I'm starting with this. Okay, you see here I have two thread bridges between my beads. And I'm going here through the under the first one. Okay, and then I pull. Make those beads stay flat. And then I'm going through the one that's through the bead that's closer to my needle and to the center of my work. Okay, and I'm pulling. What I want to do is go again through this red one here. In this way I make my bead stay flat nice and tight. This is an additional step that secures my work, okay? And now I have red and black. And then I will take black. But the next beads I add one by one. Only in my first step I add two, okay? And here I take one black and go back through it like this. And then I need one red to finish my row. Okay, going under this thread bridge here again. And again through this red one here. Okay. As you may see, my pattern is starting to work. And here you could, could see it in the right corner as well. Now, I will flip my work this way because it's easier for me. And now I have a red, black, silver, black, red. Here in my pattern it's yellow but I'm using silvers so I'm starting with a red and a black. A red and a black. Okay, I'm going here through the very first thread bridge. When I'm expanding my work I'm always going through the first thread bridge. Okay. Go here through this bead again, like I showed you before. And when I decrease my work, like it's here, it's decreasing, I'm going through the second thread bridge, but I'm going to show you this later. Okay, now do the familiar step. Go here through this red one and through this black one. Okay. Then what comes next is a silver, a yellow or a silver, okay? Go here through this thread bridge. Here I'm adding one by one what I need to add, okay? 
go back. Then a black and a red one. Okay, a black. First only black. Going through the next red bridge. And then only red. Okay, pulling and going back through this red one here. Okay, sometimes I need to turn my work around. Okay, now I have this up to here. You see, it's absolutely the same thing up to here. Then it comes my next row. Red, black, two silvers, black, red. And I will do this faster. Okay, I have one more row ready. I will show you one more row. And I'm up to here. So I did this this row. And now I need red, black, red, silver, red, black, red. Okay, and I will show you this one faster again. Okay guys, and now I also have this row ready and I'm up to this row where I will add a red, six blacks and a red and I will let you do this by yourself. I will make my work up to here where the decrease starts and I will show you how to make the decrease and finish your work but you should make it by yourself from here to here. The same way I showed you, you should to learn how to work with uh, patterns if you want to master these uh, type of creations, okay? So now make your work without my help from here to here, the same way I showed you and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. You could pause this pattern, use it up to here. And I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. You see, I am here up to the widest part of my heart, up to here. So I did this. And now, 
what I need to do is start decreasing and now I will show you how I'm going to decrease okay here I, I will start with red black silver black silver black red okay up to here you see and I will continue this the other way around okay now I'm starting and I, in this step I will show you how to decrease okay and I will start with a red and a black you see okay and instead of going through the first thread bridge I will go through the second thread thread bridge and in this way I will decrease my work okay now I will do the familiar step which is going around all of those two beads one more time okay first I will exit through this bead like I'm doing all the time and then I will make one more move going through the first and then through the second bead and making them stay next to each other nice and tight okay then in my next step what I need to take is a silver bead which you could see here uh, is a yellow but I will put a silver here okay and I'm taking one silver and I'm putting it here then in my next step I need a black one taking one black making the center of my next flower with this black one and going in this direction all tight then I need silver or a yellow whatever color you chose and I'm going here and back then what I need is again a black one and I need a red one black one again And here you see, even without looking at my work, at my pattern, I know I need to make the center of my flower, which consists of one silver, one black and one silver. And then after the flower, I need a black one. And a red one after that. And I stop up to here because this is the last bit from this row following my pattern and then I will flip my work this way and here guys I will still decrease my work okay I will start from here and I will show my uh, decreased row now okay so now I need a red and a black again you see and I'm going not through the first but through the second thread bridge so this is the first this is the second one going here like that you see what I have now then I will go back through this black one like I'm doing all the way go here through the red and through the black again then in my next step what I need are one silver 
like this and then one more and with this I'm finishing my flower here okay and then I need one black and two red beads okay guys and now off camera I will finish this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next stop it and follow the pattern up to here and I'll meet you then. Okay guys, and, and now I'm here where I'm adding the last red bead from this row. And I'm pulling. Now I'm going to flip my work and I will continue decreasing. Okay, now I will take a red and a black and you can see here the pattern. A red and a black, okay. And I will go through the second thread bridge because I'm still decreasing my work. Okay, go through here. Go back. Then what I do is add two more blacks. And then I'm going to add a red one. Okay guys, now you see where I am in my pattern, okay? And now here I need to make my last row in this direction, okay? And this consists of four red beads, okay? And in order to do this, it's easier for me to flip my work because I prefer to work in this direction, okay? And then I will take two red beads and I will go in my second thread bridge. I'm still decreasing and this is my last row of decreasing, okay? I'm going through these beads here. Okay, like that. And what I need to add here are two more red beads, okay? Adding the first one. And then the second one. And here guys, as I'm exiting from this bead, in this step I will attach my ear wire and in order to do this I'm taking one seed bead then I'm taking my ear wire and I'm going through it, slide those down then I will take one more seed bead, okay? seed bead, ear wire, seed bead and I'm going back in circle through this red one here And here I have a loop and I will go one more time through those beads, reinforcing them, okay, like this. Okay, now I want to flip my work and I want to go out of this red bead. And in order to do this, I'm going through some beads in this direction.
okay and I'm here and now I will finish my work you see I'm here and here I have two rows to add and I'm going to start with the red and a black okay I'm starting with the red and a black you see and I'm going not through the first but through the second thread bridge here okay then do the familiar steps go here and here and then one more time in this direction okay like this take one one more black you can look what's coming up next from this side okay and one red bit flipping here two red beads skip the first thread bridge go to the second okay and this is the last bead that I'm adding and my heart earring is ready I just need to make some knots and cut my thread okay let's come here here I will find a place like this to make a loop go once go and pull and you could repeat this several more times go through the next seed bead after you make the last knot and then cut your thread okay guys and now my brick stitch heart earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations you could also support me by liking sharing and commenting and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and i'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments thank you so much for watching bye bye from me